This is a petition of State 55, a movement of Pan-Africanists drawn from the continent of Africa and in the diaspora. This petition is made to the United Nations Organization, to the African Union, and to the heads of states and governments in Africa. It is made while we are cognizant of the provisions and the promises of the UN Charter of 1945. We are also cognizant of the provisions of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights of 1948. And we are equally cognizant of the African Charter of Human and People's Rights of 1981. We met this petition specifically in light of the situation in the southern Cameroons. But even as we make it, we are aware that conflict continues to envelop different parts of Africa. We are aware of the situation in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Northern Mali, the Democratic Republic of Congo, Central African Republic, and South Sudan. But today, we want to focus our petition to the Southern Cameroons. In the last few years, the people of Southern Cameroons have been exposed to untold suffering. Reliable reports show that women have been raped, houses have been razed, and people have been killed indiscriminately. What concerns us is that bodies that ought to be speaking are eloquent in their silence. It is our intention to stir them into activity. And that is why we jointly come together as Pan-Africanists who love this continent and our people and appeal specifically to the African Union to, number one, immediately convene an urgent meeting on the situation and the status of the Cameroons. Number two, that they immediately urge the, pres the government of President Paul Beer of the Cameroons to convene an all-party meeting without conditionalities to ensure that constructive dialogue is initiated so that the plight of the people of Cameroons and the future of the Cameroons is determined in a pacific fashion. Lastly, we urge the African Union to work jointly with African governments and the United Nations Organization to put a stop to all conflict. We are making this plea aware that under Africa Agenda 2063, the leaders of Africa have promised that the guns will be silenced by the year 2020 as a condition precedent to ensuring that Africa realizes our socio-economic and political potential. We believe that this will only be achieved when the leaders of the continent take their position and do that which is right and good. We pray and urge that the people of Cameroons and all the suffering peoples of Africa are liberated from the trials and tribulations which they continue to face.